what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and guys today we are back with another video in today's video i'm going to show you on how you can get a ps5 theme emulator on your computer so be sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on all post notifications and let's get straight into it however before we get into it i do want to say a quick something um so this isn't an actual os emulator meaning you can't actually play ps5 games on here like bloodborne this is technically still launching games on your computer so uh, like i said you aren't going to be playing on uh, ps5 this is not actually ps5 it only emulates a theme what it looks like so uh yeah without further ado let's get straight into it all right so the first thing you want to do is go to your browser and I'm gonna leave the link in the description right down below so you can access the Playnight site. You wanna go to playnight.link. After you're on this site, you wanna scroll down a bit and click download. I'm gonna walk you through what you're supposed to do when you download it. When you open the application, when you run it, it's gonna ask you the installation folder. Choose where you wanna install this application. And then after, it's going to show you all the accounts you want to link, meaning um, Steam, Epic Games, Ubisoft, and Battle.net. All of those applications are going to be available to you so you can connect to them and add your games onto Playnight. So after you've chosen those, it's going to run you through a quickly, uh, it's a quick a linking uh, process of each platform so let's say uh, I have Steam uh, selected uh, I want my Steam games to be on play night uh, I'm gonna click Steam and it's gonna ask me to link so I'm gonna put my password my email and whatever and it's gonna link after linking it's uh, it's gonna open the application so I'll see you in the application Okay, so now you should be in the application and you don't see your games. All right, don't panic. This is what you're gonna do. Up here, after installing the application and selecting the games, uh, sorry, the platforms that you connected, it's gonna say downloading uh, metadata or it's gonna be doing some kind of download sequence thing. It's gonna download something. Let that download, let that work its magic. And after it's done downloading, uh, the games that you've, so let's say your Steam games, you selected Steam, Ubisoft, and uh, I don't know, Epic Games, all your Steam, Ubisoft, and Epic Games are gonna be here. Now, you don't have a game that's there or that you want to be there, don't panic, I got you. If you wanna add a game that's not here, that's still on your computer and still playable, you wanna go to the controller, add game, now, see, you can do it manually, but the manual option is tough because you gotta you gotta get most of like every detail, right? Uh, the genre, the publisher, the developer, the release date, uh, how, the install size. It's not fun, okay? So don't do it manually because there are also some stuff that you can mess up. Go to scan automatically, scan folder. Now, let's say I want to do, let's say I want to upload Elden Ring. Okay, you're gonna go to the Elden Ring uh, folder and then we're gonna scroll down to the game folder. Now, the reason I'm going to the game folder is because uh, in reality, this is where my Elden Ring EXE file is stored to open the game. So select folder and bam. After you select the folder, it's gonna show you every possible EXE file that could potentially be the game. And this is it right select add games I'm not gonna add it and upon adding this is what it's gonna show up everything release date features links everything it's all there you could obviously modify it in which I don't actually recommend it even critic score community everything is here okay now you actually want to add the ps5 theme this is what you're here for. I got you. You wanna go into the, you're gonna select the controller again, move to add-ons, okay? 
Now you want to scroll to browse and then themes full screen and you just simply want to search PS5. Now we got two options. We got the first option which is PS5 ish. This is for beefy computers, more powerful. PS5 ish slim is for uh, computers that are slower, older. I personally select the PS5 ish and then install it, save, and then it's going to ask you to reboot the application. Do that, it's two seconds. Upon rebooting, you're going to see, you're going to say, sorry, well, where's my PS5 theme? All you want to do is simply click F11 on your keyboard to go in full screen mode and it's going to be there. Click on that. And there you have it, you are in your PS5. Now, you guys aren't gonna see this actually. In reality, you're not seeing this. The actually thing, the real thing you're gonna see is like uh, games. It's gonna be like a blue screen with all your games, and on top of here, it's gonna be a controller. For you guys, click the controller, head over to settings, visuals. So for you guys, it's gonna be default change this to ps5 ish and it it's gonna say restart play night uh, for you guys click yes i'm not doing that uh, and then you should if it if it doesn't um put you automatically in the uh emulator then go ahead and go into play night application and then from there click f11 and there you have it this is your ps5 theme emulator there you have it uh, i i don't know personally i find this really cool it's something that i don't know it's very like when i want to stream games or like when i want to feel the ps5 vibe like cozy and all that type of stuff i'll do this you know it's nice i like it so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and